What's crack like? You know, it's Big Cat, Big Cat Outdoors. We're headed out to Lake, do some fishing. Pre-spawn bass, hopefully we catch a big one. So I'm out here at the farm pond today. I'm gonna start out throwing a spinner bait, a uh, double, little double Colorado. And uh, it's windy today. Got some winds, got some clouds. I'm gonna start off with that and then go from there. Little guy, didn't take long though. I got bit and he missed it. I hit a piece of wood and I kind of jerked it a little bit over that wood and he smoked it. Slow I'm talking slow to on that thing. Ah, uh, he choked it too. Ah, he choked it. Number two, slow rolling that spinnerbait in the wood. I let that spinnerbait fall all the way to the bottom and then just creep it through that wood. I set the hook so hard, I threw the fish 10 feet out of the water over a log, and he comes off. I'm talking about. We need some more of these in here. I've caught some absolute monster bass in here, like eight, nine pounders, but they're so hard to catch. I don't know if they're just so educated. Usually you just catch dinks. I mean, For some reason, I'm here to catch the big girls. I usually have to fish live bait, like use bluegill or something. There's so much brush in here too, they can hide literally anywhere. Like that guy, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> I 
I need your mama. Where's your mama at? Oh, I had one come after it. <clears throat> Y'all can see how dangerous the cast I'm making are. You need a good rod and a fast reel. Because when those fish bite, you got to get them out of that cover. I don't know if I was gonna get that one out. He bit and pulled me under a log. Daggum choked that thing. Dagum choked it. That fish is unhealthy. I've cut two off this stump out here, and same thing, choked it. I hope you can see this. That stump with the, I'm pointing at got the limb coming up. I call that the lucky stump. The reason I call it lucky stump is I didn't catch any big ones that day, but last year I caught 21 bass off that one stump. I don't know if it was a bluegill bed or they were spawning. And like I said, none of them were big, but off this one stump. I guess only two were living there today. Well guys, I'm about to paddle back to the truck. been a fun day I probably caught I don't know seven or eight nine or ten bass something like that I don't, I don't know I didn't count but it was a great day caught them all on a spinner bait uh, through the brush hog early and short striking it but uh, I'll see y'all back at the house y'all have a good one so I'm just gonna give a quick uh, recap of what I did uh, or what you just saw it's been a week for me I've been swamped with baseball and as you can see some schoolwork and stuff like that I got a test tomorrow but Never mind that, let's talk about fishing. So what I did um, at the pond, or what y'all just saw, what I did, I got out there, cloudy, I just read the conditions, cloudy, windy, set up good for a spinner bait, which I like throwing a spinner bait in that pre-spawn period. I like slowing a spinner pre-spawn, catch some of those big females, especially if you use like a Colorado Indiana blade, uh, trying to display some water, especially in that dirtier water, you know. Um, but I got there, I was slow rolling just a double Colorado uh, spinner bait wasn't a very big spinner bait, probably a 3 8 ounce, and um, started off in that deeper water, in the deepest part of the pond of those big trees. The reason I did that, because I want to go deep and then work my way through the water columns all the way up until I get to that shallow stuff, and then I can fi figure out where they're at in that transition. Because I knew they probably weren't going to be in that deeper stuff, but I didn't think they were going to be in that super shallow stuff yet. So went out there, caught two in the deeper water on a spinner bait pretty relatively quick, went into that 
two to four range, which I call like the middle section or two to eight range. But in this pond, it's more like two to four. Didn't even sniff a bite, did not get a bump, nothing. Um, then I went to like zero to two foot of water and it was like just catching, you know, bug bass left and right. Just I was literally throwing it up there in dirt all over wood stuff and brush piles. And then, oh, I wasn't burning it back, but I keep the rod tip up high and keep that um, spinner bait up in the top level of the uh, water column. And I'd bring it over all those wood limbs and brush piles and stuff and they'd come up through the brush and eat it and crush it. And it was fun, it was a fun bite. But I hope y'all learned something from what I did and I'm trying to pattern these fish and figure them out. Y'all have a good one.